If you guys want some gamer subs, make sure to get yourself 10% off with code GM at checkout. And while you're at it, come check me out over at twitch.tv slash gminers. Thanks. Yo, what's going on guys? It's G Miners here. Each season, I make a new version of my original video going over how to get high stat rolled armor. You guys seem to love it. So today we have one for season 17, AKA season of the haunted. If you are new to creating high stat armor builds or are even going for triple 100 stats, I highly, highly recommend you check out my video on stat buckets after this video. That video covers the combinations that armor pieces roll with, but more importantly, it goes over what is essentially impossible to get on armor. For example, if you are a hunter going for max mobility, resilience, and recovery, you're wasting your time because it's impossible. It just comes down to how stats are grouped, all of which I covered in that video, which I will have a link to in the description below. As of right now, the highest stat roll you can get for any legendary pieces of armor is a 68 roll. I know someone will probably comment that they have something higher, but if you do, it is from armor from a legacy system or an exotic, which does roll up to 72. Four pieces of armor are going to have stat rolls, which means potentially you could have four times 68 total stats, which is 272 stats in total. If you take this one step further by fully masterworking everything, you're going to get plus two to every single stat on each piece of armor. You can also masterwork your class item, which means we are getting plus 12 stats per piece of armor for a total of 60 stats. This brings our new total up to 332. And then the last step you can take that is relatively simple is adding armor mods to each piece of armor. Each mod is plus 10. And once again, you can add this to a class item. So we get bonus 50 stats for a final total of 382 stat points. Your subclass fragments in the stasis, void, and now solar subclasses will also affect your stat distribution. Fragments that tend to be extremely strong often come with a stat penalty to balance the fragment out a bit, but others come with a stat bonus. This can either be a plus 10 to one stat or plus 10 to two different stats, depending on the fragment. So if you really need some extra stats in one or two areas, you can run these fragments, but they might not synergize with your build. The only other bonus to armor stats is going to be the mods Powerful Friends and Radiant Light. Powerful Friends gives plus 20 mobility and Radiant Light gives plus 20 strength. These can be super useful to help you reach triple 100 stats, but again, this is going to reduce the amount of mods you can use towards builds. If you did decide to add both mods and fragments, you could get up to 472 stat points in total, so this does actually make quad 100s possible. At the end of the day, 382 stat points just from armor rolls alone, masterworks, and armor mods is more than enough to get triple 100 stats, but you need to be a bit lucky. Even if you just get 60 rolls or something similar on your armor, this should still be possible, but it is, again, going to come down to getting lucky with the spread of your stats on each piece of armor. So the question really is, what is the best source for getting these high stat rolled armor pieces? First off, before you go for any armor, make sure you are running a focusing ghost mod. Since resilience was changed this season, I highly recommend getting a good resilience roll on your armor, so I have this set to that. But whatever you decide to run, this will guarantee a minimum of 10 points are rolled into resilience, or again, whatever stat you choose, with every piece of armor. But you are also much more likely to get stats higher than 10 with this. Before I go over the best high stat armor sources, if you guys do find this video useful, don't forget to drop a like and sub down below. Subbing is completely free. It helps me out a ton, guys, and you can always change your mind later. By far, the first place I recommend you going this season is to the Crown of Sorrow. This is the brand new seasonal vendor located in the Helm. I believe everyone has access to this, whether you own the season or not, but don't quote me on that. When you do get here, there is luckily only one upgrade you need. This is the first upgrade under manifesting. This lets you focus engrams into the season of the haunted armor. If you can't unlock anything because you don't have any figments of darkness to spend or you spent them all, don't worry. You do get more from ranking up, so just do some bounties. And you also get one each week from seasonal challenges, so make sure you do that each week. Back in the Crown of Sorrow, over on the third and final page is where you can focus any Ingram you have for Legendary Shards and Opulent Umbral Energy. I've seemed to get amazing stats from this armor. The base rolls were not anything super wild, but the distribution was to die for. 
everything seemed to be focused into just two stats, which is exactly what you want for building armor sets. I got these two pieces on my Titan, which were decent, but not the best stat rolls. I got these other two on my Hunter, which were a bit better. And then I got these two pieces on my Hunter a few days ago, which are extremely good. The stats aren't exactly where I want them, but the roll and the spread, as I mentioned, are insanely good compared to most top tier armor drops currently in the game. I think this is where you will want to be getting most of your armor this season, but if you run out of engrams or don't have opulent energy, you might want somewhere else to farm. Source number two is from the Sever mission on the Leviathan. The first channeling upgrade will guarantee a high stat rolled armor piece for the first completion each week. Super simple task, go complete this mission at the beginning of each week to see what you get. Not a great place to farm, obviously, but this is one free piece of gear that should always be a good roll. Source number three on this list is Master Wellspring. This is a great place to get high stat Veritas armor because even though it does require six players, most LFGs are capable of getting this done. I myself have LFG'd Master Wellspring multiple times and had never had a problem clearing it. Most people also don't join calls when running this, so you don't have to deal with any toxicity if that's something you're worried about. Each completion should have a chance to drop this armor, and this is also a good place to farm umbrals and more opulent energy in the meantime. The fourth source of high stat rolled armor is going to be the weekly Witch Queen missions. Legend and Master difficulties both drop high stat rolled armor. Master is just going to have a higher drop rate than Legend. This only requires three players, but can be extremely difficult, especially on Master, if you don't have a good team to go in with. In Wellspring, you can rely a bit more on your other players, but in these missions, you need to be a bit more on your game. The fifth and final spot that I would recommend farming for high stat rolled armor are going to be Master Vog and Master Val. It is extremely early in the season for these to be efficient to farm considering our power level, but in a few weeks time, these raids will be the best place to farm by far. Each week, these raids offer a different armor focus. Master Val, for example, this week is offering intellect focused armor, so if you go in and clear encounters, you're going to have a higher chance of getting high stats in intellect. If you combine this with a ghost mod, you should be able to focus two stats at once, assuming they are not conflicting with each other. This is one of the best spots to farm, but also one of the hardest as it requires a full team of power that knows what they are doing. Each week, there is also a challenge which gives double drops when completed, so you can get an extra piece from that. And then on top of this, I did want to mention that I checked to see what Master Vog was offering and didn't see it as an option anymore. I'm not sure if Bungie took Master Vog out of the game. I didn't hear anything about that, so I'm not sure if this is a glitch or what. These overall are the top places I would farm for high stat roll armor this season. The umbral focusing at the helm is by far the best place in my opinion, and is also the easiest source to consistently farm. That's what I'll be using. If you happen to know anywhere else that provides high stat rolls, let me know in the comments below. That's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.